Hey, right, y'all, it's Friday. You feel me? And y'all know I'm trying to do my my little uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads. I have not done them all frequently the way I wanted to. Like, I have yet to actually have a week since I mentioned that schedule to do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But that's okay, because we're getting there. I dropped one on Wednesday. Um, it was about the memory of this of Death Stranding, of course, and it was also about the multiplayer, but not that we got a whole ton of new information. It was just pretty basic stuff, like it being fifty five gigs and or not having to participate in multiplayer. But what I didn't realize that something else that I mentioned in that video was about the lift, the embargo lift on when reviews are coming out on Death Stranding. I brought it up in my last video but I didn't really think about it too thoroughly in the sense that I was just like okay like reviews come out a week before the game comes out that's cool or whatever not really thinking about or comparing it to all the other games I've seen where I realized that reviews usually do come out much closer to the release date like given a new game that is starting a new genre with a company that is its first time being independent because that's called Human Productions and your first game you put out you lift the embargo a week before the game comes out like that's just a lot of new stuff it could go one of two ways you know it can either be a really smart idea and you could look like a genius or it could go and be a bad idea depending on the ratings of what is given from all these different big companies that do these reviews such as Metacritic and IGN and Games Radar and a ton of other ones I mean, so I didn't think about how important it was that it's coming out a week early. And that is crazy because that means you are giving people that much more time to criticize the game before it even comes out and decide whether or not to buy it. Now, people haven't realized, if you haven't realized that, it, the lifting the embargo on reviews is usually seen as anti consumer. You know, and mostly because obviously if it, if a game gets bad ratings, people are less inclined to buy the game, especially when it's the first of its kind or the first in a new series or the first in a new trilogy, whatever you want to call it. That's usually kind of iffy, but I guess you got to start somewhere and the confidence that you have should be pretty high in this situation. The confidence for Kojima and Sony is pretty high. To let people put out their reviews a week early is actually a big deal. So don't take that as something light. That means that they feel like this game is going to be rated pretty high. So I am on the train, the hype train already, and I have been boasting about the game and I think it's going to be crazy, which actually brings me to my next point because the reason why I think it's going to be crazy is because Tons of spoilers and leaks have already came out because obviously in order to do reviews, the game went gold a couple weeks ago, September 26th, you know, just to backtrack, right? It went gold, which means it was mass produced. The master disc was finished. I put up a video about that, but I'll tell you again, that's cool or whatever. The master disc was finished and sent out to everybody who was going to be doing reviews. And that's what we have going on right now. And people are playing it. There's a ton of people that have played it. Obviously, you guys, if you've looked up any Death Stranding news, you knew that the CEO of Sony had already played about 10 hours of it a couple weeks ago. Now he could have finished playing it. Who knows? I don't. But he could have. And he already said that it was going to be something insane. So all I'm saying here is that's pretty crazy. You feel me? Because that means that Right now, while everything is being reviewed and this is the first time we're seeing Death Stranding at all, people have already put out a lot of plot leaks. And I'm not gonna tell you them here. What I will do is I'll put the link to Reddit because Reddit was, you know, is a big thing for that. And I will put the link to Reddit if you really want these spoilers. I don't want to talk about it. I didn't fully read it. I told y'all before, I don't really like doing leaks because I feel like it ruins the hype train. You know, I feel like it's a little catastrophic for a train that's going to, you know, loosen the bolts or screw with the engine. So, all I'm saying is <laughs> that if that is the case, it could be bad in the sense that you don't want to know that. And I didn't even fully want to know because I, that is why I did not finish reading the whole thing. I What I read from it was very much 
I read the first few lines and I checked myself and I was like, why am I reading this? Like, I don't want this to be hype. It'll be better for reactions on the channel, but it'll also just be better for me as an experience for as a gamer, which y'all know obviously I am and I love to do. And so because of that, I don't want to ruin the experience at all. Like, if y'all saw my last video too, I've asked on a few videos, but I was like, what do y'all want? Do you guys want highlights or... Um, do you want live streams or do you just want to walk through? And I got some feedback. Um, my boy Huguma, he's, 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 you know, been in my comments and stuff and he said he would like highlight videos. So if you guys would also like highlight videos, you know, you should just put that in the comments as well. Um, but either way, the real time reactions, regardless of whether or not it's highlights or a walkthrough or a live stream would be much better without knowing what the whole plot of the game is. Unfortunately, I'm bad at forgetting details once I've read them, though. I read the first few lines. I know I said earlier I read the first few lines, but I also read a couple lines in the middle. I was trying not to scroll. You know one of those things where it's like, I want to do this, but I don't. I stopped myself after I read the, a couple lines in the middle, because it's a long thing, and I'll show you right here on the screen. It's a long thing, and there was I read a couple lines at the end, and because of that, I still have a couple of ideas of, of what's going on. But I, I don't want to say it here. Um, but if y'all want, I, I will risk I will risk doing that if y'all want to see a video about what the leaks and spoilers are. But even then, I don't know that I'll read the whole thing. That's going to be tough for me, guys. That's going to be tough for me because Ko Kojima is probably like, what's the point like, like, like of, of like having all this hype that's just going to get ruined in the first place? Obviously, you, don't, you still have to play the game to get the full experience. But when you've learned what the whole plot is about, it, you know, it's like, it's, there's nothing that's that um, surprising. So that is really what I wanted to come on here and say today. Um, that, you know, we got, we got, we the, the embargo is a big deal being lifted on November 1st is when you're going to see reviews come out about Death Stranding. So if you don't want to know too many plot leaks or anything of that nature, do not watch the reviews. Tap into your strength, tap into your like anime characters, whether it's Luffy or Naruto or Gon or Killua. Just type into that. Tap into that. I said type into that. Don't type into it. Tap into it. You feel me? And control your yourself. Have real self control about it because otherwise you'll go and you'll watch the reviews and stuff will get probably get spoiled for you and you know you won't get the full experience. And that's not really fair. But it is still pretty amazing that they are that confident about how good this game is going to be received. So that is why the name of this title is is Death Stranding Too Big to Fail. And it might be. It really might be. Like, in other words, even if your audience switches from the people that are usually with you to another set, it's still successful because you've brought on more people on board and then you can later on make games that are... A mix and that you can kind of bring your audiences together and just as a little side note thing that I brought up a few videos ago where I said Kojima said in order to start a new game genre which he's trying to do which is called the strand genre you have to make a you have to make one game and you got to make a sequel and then you have to make a third game for it to really domino effect and because of that we said before Keanu Reeves might be in the next one but this one hasn't came out yet so if you're hyped about this and you just love Kojima, you'll be hyped about the next one anyways. But obviously, we know PlayStation 5 and Xbox comes out holiday next se next year, end of 2020. So we've already heard that like the sequel to this will probably be on the PS5, um, which is, that's awesome. I mean, I don't know if that one will be an exclusive. It's not really an exclusive now because it's, it's going to be on PC. <laughs> um, it was taken off the exclusive list for PS4 some weeks ago, but... Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say that. Um, let me know in the comments if you really want to hear the spoilers, like if you want a video about it. And let me know still what you want to see, whether it's highlights, a walkthrough, or a live stream. And I'm going to catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.
Who has a duck? I just want to put this here at the end, just in case y'all wanted to hear about it. But some of the spoilers, you know, but you know what? First, this is a spoiler alert. I'm not. So I'm giving y'all time to like, you know, either switch videos or you can skip ahead. I'll, I'll put the times of where the, this spoiler is down in the description so that you don't have to worry about getting it spoiled for you. But what I did see was I'm giving y'all some more time. I keep starting and stopping because I want to make sure y'all are right here for the... Okay. So, basically, time travel, which I said before, yeah, that's that's going to be in it. It seems like there's something that goes horribly wrong with some equipment that happens in the world of Death Stranding. We don't really know what it is or why, but it causes time lapses, I believe. And the fight is about who's going to be controlling it. Look at this. Look, look. What you what you wanted to do? You wanted to tell him to go ahead. T go ahead, tell him. Okay, Tycho has he's not worried about it. Yeah. He, oh. Okay. So the direct quote, or essentially the direct quote, is the game is set in the future where humans try to create a regeneration technology to cure aging, and predictably it goes horribly wrong and messes with the fabric of time. That's that's basically in a nutshell. That wasn't it word for word, but. That's what goes on. We kind of found out what the VTs were too. Um, essentially, people that are stuck in this time flow current thing that can't, you know, but they're not fully, but they're connected to both worlds because they never fully died, I think, because it's like they aged but didn't. Their spirits may still be hanging around. But that's all I'm going to tell y'all for now. If y'all want a full video, just let me know. You feel me? And um, I'm going to catch y'all later. You know? Peace. You feel me? Who has a duck?